Take them marine or bit of inches. They're at the spot. Today we're just uh, going on an adventure. Don't know where we're going, but we got here late last night. Well, this is the first night. Got up here. Just took my time getting up here. It is 11 o'clock right now. Now it's morning. And we're just going to go check the river for our pink salmon. Just going to put on my waders. Now we'll head downstream. Down river actually. We still got a little hike. All right, guys, I'm almost all geared up. I'm using my Phoenix 7.1 with my PC Phone 5 or 1000 reel. And then also I'm going ultra lightweight for light fishing. Three weight echo lift with my Redditon Red Zero. So let's get going. Well, I don't think anything made it up. <laughs> Water's too shallow. One way to find out. Start casting. No pink salmon. Maybe there's some uh, native trouts in here. here to chase pink salmon and whatever bites but it doesn't seem like they're in yet the water's still too low we need some really good rain once we get rain that's gushing down these waterfalls and then once the water recedes that's when the pink salmon should be able to make it all the way up here you want the salmon to be able to make it up here and to the pool over there and maybe a little bit over there. But for now, I guess we're just gonna chase waterfalls. It's a beautiful day regardless. It's always a wonderful time to come out here. I'm just right here at the lower waterfall right now. It's just so pretty. Do you see the water's still pretty low? When this is all covered by water, is when uh, the pink salmon will usually be up here. That hole right over there, that's where they'll be stacked. So it might be a later season for the salmon around this year, for the pink salmon especially. But then there's also years that, that they run better than others. It's almost like a three to four year intervals or whatever, where, where you get a real good run into the next year, it'll kind of dwindle down. At the end of the next, uh, let's say, I think three to five years or something like that. I don't remember. Then there'll be a lot of salmon again. So I guess it just depends on their natural reproduction or or when they're stocked. 
I'm not sure if these pink salmon are stocked or if they are naturally reproducing in here. But I'm gonna walk back up to the upper waterfalls. Probably just get some more videos for you guys. Not every adventure is gonna be about catching fish or whatever, but it's about the adventure itself. It's only like 10 steps. I'm like out of breath already. Uh, getting old. steps all this gear not easy all this gear waders boots climb up the hills not easy and you might even go on the right way well it's one of the first few here and now the parking lot is almost packed All right guys, just made it back. And that's spot we're going to, we're not gonna, we need the waiter, so I'm just gonna take all my waiter off. Hey, what are you guys still doing here? I'm trying to strip. It feels real good to be out my waiters, but I'm gonna have some water first. It's very important to have water with you guys. That was kind of my mistake. If I would have been out there longer, I'd be a lot more dehydrated. <clears throat> you can hear my voice how dehydrated I am. So we're gonna finish packing up. We're gonna head up to another spot. And I don't I won't need my waders there. I'm just gonna put on my ankle high boots hike down see if there's any fish there and then uh we'll probably cook some uh, some lunch by, by that time it should be about lunch time anyways so all right we'll catch you guys there Well guys, I'm just down here by the Temperance. Just look at the beautiful view. It's just amazing. I remember a few years ago, probably five years ago, this was all, all sandbarred in, so not really, not many fish could actually make it in. I was just, talking, just talking to a couple of anglers uh, right down there, and the, they said they saw a couple. One of them uh, had a hit, but that was about it. But this part, the water seems to be a lot higher. Last time I was down here, probably two years ago, I could actually walk down here. This was a little small beach area right here. So I can actually walk down there, but yeah, the water seems a lot, a lot higher. It's kind of strange. Some spots, 
like this. I mean, it looks low before and now it's like super high and you can't even walk down there. You'd be in probably about two feet of water, staying on two feet of water. So, Let's see if I can get over here a little bit without falling in. But yeah, this point right here, this those are those. Well, this part right here used to be like a little rock bar, I mean, just full of rocks and pebbles. And now, yeah, you can't even go there because that's like at least two feet of water right now. So it must be the water coming in from the wind. Each season when you come down here, it's it's totally different. Springtime, it's totally different from summer and fall and winter. Winter could be a little tricky sometimes, just depending on how much snow we get. I've not been here winter time, but I know I know they do get a lot of snow up here. So it could make traveling a little treacherous if you're coming up. But I think it's worth it if you can make it up here. I think you can come and enjoy the beauty of what Mother Nature has provided for us. This is only a small part of the Temperance River right here. There's campgrounds to the west, northwest of here. There's plenty of parking. There's also a campsite right behind me, which is the south. So it's just wonderful to come explore. I'm not sure what this used to be, but this looks pretty cool. Looks like a big water pit. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get hungry, so... I brought some uh, beef and some romaine lettuce, so let's make some lettuce wraps. Right out here, right in the open. So, yeah, let's make some lunch. Well, it's not much, but this is actually beef stew meat, so the meat's a little tougher. Just throw that on there. I like how, how my plating is. You guys like? Oh, I just lost a piece of meat. That's right, we'll feed that to the animals. Good. All right, lunch time, guys. Hmm. Nothing better than roadside roadside lunch. I like to make a little lettuce uh, lettuce boat. Or you can wrap it up too, but I kind of like it like this, so it looks like a boat, so I'll just call it a lettuce boat. It's a lettuce boat. Mmm. Delicious. I also made some new friends today too. I'm about, they're actually hiking now, but I should have uh, got the camera on them too, but... This is... I forgot her name already. It was uh, Nancy and Neil, I think it was. But yeah, they're from Colorado. They got a blue 2018 Toyota Tacoma. And uh, here goes mine. So if you guys are watching this video, you can see this video. It was uh, nice, nice chatting with you guys. It was nice chatting with you both. And maybe once, uh, maybe when I come uh, 
maybe one day when I come down to Colorado, maybe we'll meet up over there too. But it was nice uh, having a little chat with you guys. It's been a fun weekend chasing pinks. We finally found them in one river, but there's too many people there. So we're trying this one last spot. Hopefully we'll find something here. We got a little hike up yet, probably a quarter mile. But this is a real beautiful area. Well guys, it's been a pretty t tough weekend, no pinks, but the main thing is uh, we had an adventure, stealth camping, and uh, visiting all these beautiful places, the waterfalls, that's what, that's what uh, going on adventures is about, it's not, it's not always about harvesting animals or, or harvesting salmon or whatever, but the main thing is to come out here, have fun, enjoy this beautiful weather enjoy this uh, beautiful scenery and everything and I think it was a successful weekend even though we didn't land any pink salmon but I hope you guys like this video stay tuned for more adventures to come fly fishing ice fishing is coming up next too as always follow your dreams follow your passions make it happen